Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. We're back in Colony Survival, back at the main colony. Uh, we've been pursuing luxury garments. Looks like we're finally, finally, finally making them. Not very quickly. I did go and buy a bunch of linen, but look how fast this linen just disappears. It gets used super quick. Um, I did add a bunch more tailors, so hopefully we'll be converting this flax into um, linen quite a bit faster. But now that we have the luxury garments in our inventory, we have a few, 33. Let's unlock some tech. Uh, we want this guy right here, luxury chest. And that's going to unlock the luxury chest made at the chest maker's workshop. So let's complete that one. Boom. And what we're really after is the steel lockbox. Kind of want this one, and we need three luxury chests to do it. Let's get down and just explore some stuff. This guy can go for now. I want to look at the chest maker's workshop and see what it's going to take to make these luxury chests. The boom. Monoculars. We don't have those. Do I need to unlock that? Uh, or did we unlock it already? Let's see. I thought I saw something that looked like monoculars. Is it this guy? Monocular. Okay, this is the engineer's bench for monoculars. We're waiting on wrought iron. I did just add a whole lot of copper anvils to try and address our shortage of wrought iron but maybe I need even more if we look at the colony um I think it's these guys right coppersmiths 94 they were just on the hot my hot bar if you noticed maybe we can throw down some more of these if we need to yeah coppersmith let's see Rod iron, I have it as a high priority. They have tons of iron bloom. Maybe I just need to throw down a bunch more of these. Let's do that. Let's head down. And then we'll look at the monoculars too. Where was that again? Monoculars. That, that wasn't these guys, was it? Man, this guy makes a ton of stuff. Advanced job block crafter. Nope. Nope. Okay, well, first things first. Let's go find our copper anvils. Here we go. Just found them. So I added a bunch. You can see they're busy, but they're not... Not a lot of them are actually making wrought iron, are they? A lot of them are making those brass components... Brass precision parts. Our quota is 2,000 on these. Needs brass ingots. Let's see. I wonder if we're using a lot of those. Do we have... Brass ingots. We got 5,000 just about. Yeah, these guys aren't really doing much wrought iron work, are they? It is one of the higher priority items. I guess we need to add more. I think we have... Plenty of material for these guys to work. Let's do it. Let's get a bunch more of these down. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Our crates. ramping up iron production or yeah wrought iron production here hopefully Let's recruit that is another 30 roughly or 32 I guess yeah four times eight is 32 um, I'm tempted to do even more just because we look at iron, 
In order to make wrought iron, we need iron bloom, and we have 25,000. That's the quota. It's just sitting there waiting. And then we have another 116,000 ore of iron. So I think we just need more people to work it. Yeah, I don't see a lot of these guys working on wrought iron. Let's um, build out another crafting room over here. And we'll add even more anvils. A lot of scaling up, boy. We've been doing a ton of scaling up. Two, three, one. The other thing I'd like to do this episode is um, rework some of our defenses and incorporate the hand cannons and the, um, the musket guards. Okay, this is another crafting room. Let's throw some more anvils down. I have 19. Alright, that's all I got. That is all that I have. Recruit. And then let's make sure we put our tool station down. And grocery. Boom. And boom. We'll see how that does. We'll see if we catch up. Things that we're short on, machine tools. Oh, we only have 41 in stock. Man, but that's a lower priority. Yeah. What do we see these guys working on this stuff, really? Grass precision parts. Hmm. Well, we just added a ton. A ton of people working on that, so hopefully we'll get more wrought iron made. Let's head up. Kind of want to do a test here and see if we go way up high. Get into one of our stairways over here. I want to see if our musket guards can shoot from a few levels up. And I was thinking this level right here. Let's see if we put somebody here quickly, if we can. We want... Night Musket Guard. Let's put a couple of these guys up. Quickly recruit, and hopefully someone will come up here quickly. Curious if these guys can shoot and reach from this, from this level. Waiting on those guys to show up. We can head down here. We should hear the shots, right? It's pretty loud. Down here, I'm thinking, let's reconfigure this. Let's put some poison guards along here. I'm going to rip these guys out. Let's grab the poison dart guys. Ooh, I hear guns. Oh, was the oh the horde's over. Darn it. We'll have to wait. I could have sworn I heard them shooting though. This guy's way up there. That's fine. Let's work on the rest of the defenses. Alright, I was grabbing poison guards, nighttime. Okay, poison guard. Is there a day and a night or is it just Okay, sleeps during the day. I guess that's all you get is these guys. I'm thinking. 
many of these? About one. Skip two, do another. Nope, wrong ones. Poison guards, one. Skip two, do one. Skip two, do one. Skip two. Hopefully we can get somebody in there. And then same thing on the other side. The idea being that these guys will hopefully poison the baddies coming in and slow them down. And then let's pepper them with some hand cannon guards. 1300 damage every 10 seconds up to 10 block distance. So these guys don't have a huge range. But uh, they pack a punch. Let's do these guys along here. These are night times, right? Yep. Nighttime hand cannons. It's gonna get noisy here at the main colony at night. So they'll probably hear the gunfire down below at the dorms, but not much I can do about it. Boom. Alright, welcome to my colony. Fellas. Alright. Here, maybe another couple of these guys. Boom, boom. All right, so that's the entrance. Let's do that on all four entrances. And then I think I'm going to rip out the poison guards that we have kind of on the corners of the castle. Oh, I guess we can do this one next. See if I can weasel my way down here. Yeah, this all goes. And hand cannons. Let's uh, get the poison guys back on the hot bar. That's you. One. Take these out first. I'm thinking we're still going to use archers, or at least the crossbows. We might not use archers anymore. We'll see. Alright, that's good for two sides. These walls could all be filled with traps too if we found ourselves in trouble. Could chew back this wall, which isn't really needed. In fact, it looks like I did it already on the other side, didn't I? This wall right here. Whoops. Alright. Alright, and then I said I wanted to take out the poison guard, the dart guys we have on the corners. These guys are not super effective, I don't think, where they're located. We'll do something different here. We'll see how many make it in. Let's uh, watch for a little bit, actually. See if they even can make it into the maze. And we got to keep an eye on our ammunition, too. Let's look. Hand cannons at 14.4. And poison darts at 3,900. 14.4 and 3,900. I'm curious if anybody's even going to be able to make it in. Uh, let's see. Up there on the other side. Let's go on the other side and just verify that these guards are shooting 
from this higher level. It's over here, right? These guys? Oh, yeah. They can reach. Check it out. We got some bullet sponges coming towards us, though. See if anybody's made it into the maze yet. Doesn't look like it. It does not look like it. That's it. I think that's it. No one even made it. No one even made it to the maze. I don't even think they made it through this tunnel. All right. That's good. Let's take out the rest of these poison guards. I don't think we need these. Oh, man. We can increase the threat rating. We'll try and max it out, and we'll see what we can do. Um, we have tons of food. And hopefully, as long as our ammunition holds out, we should be able to um, increase our threat rating quite a huge degree. Ooh, do we have stragglers? We might have had a straggler coming through. Hmm, I'm not sure. Alright, let's go down. Might be easier to do this from the outside. I got these ones already. Uh, let's do it from the outside. We put poison dart guys on the four corners. Don't need those. We'll put something else on the corners. Cool. I think that's it. Boy, I kind of want to get muskets all in these arrow slots right up there. Now that I know they can actually reach. I think I might. I think I might. Seem to have plenty of that ammunition. Let's do it. And then we'll get back to looking at the tech tree kind of stuff. Um, one more level up. And I guess we can start from the middle here. And we're going to put... Not hand cannons. We want... Nighttime musket guards. Ooh, I don't have many left. 20... I gotta wait for these to get crafted up. Night musket guards. Uh, if I have 20, I can do five on a side, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. It'll get us started. In fact, well, we have a bunch already up on one of the walls. Keeping an eye out for where we put all those other random ones. I'm gonna pull those up. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here okay, there. Let's take these up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, the rest of these come up for now. Let's see how many we get. 
I may be able to add some to each side. Okay, is that it? That's it. How many do I have? I have 10. So, do I have any more? Like muskets. No, I have 10. So, how about two more on each side? One, two, boom, and boom. I like it. I like it. Okay. Still have 18 free workers. We solidified each of the four entrances, right? I think we got all of them. Or did we not? Did we not? We didn't. No, we did. That looks right. That looks right. Um, all of these daytime guards, I think we want to change this out. So the first row is all daytimes. I think we can just switch those over to hand cannons. Our ammo recovered pretty fast. Um, what do I have down here? I have daytime crossbows, daytime archers. Let's get rid of the daytime archers and stone throwers. All right, fellas, you served us well, even though you probably never fired a shot in the last thousand and three days. And let's um, pair these guys up with daytime, daytime hand cannon guards. Okay, I think we got all four sides. Um, don't want to do this. Let's run to the middle and just take a look. Okay, yeah, that's changed. That's changed. Uh, yep, that one looks changed too. Looks like we're good for that. Let's see. Did we get more night musket guards? Nope. Advanced job block crafters workstation. Okay, let's change gears and look at those monoculars. Okay, we're getting some. We're getting some. Let's go to here. All right, steel lockbox. We got it. We got three luxury chests. Let's do it. Uh, does this increase our threat? It doesn't. Oh, yeah. That's going to be super useful to us. We're going to replace all of the... Bronze lock boxes. The issue is we just need to get those made before we can do it. Who makes them? Engineers bench. Let's bring one of those up and check the quotas. Engineers bench. Okay, bronze lock boxes. We can bring that down to whatever 20 or something low. Steel lock boxes. We want like 200 of these things. Okay, brass precision parts, steel parts, and steel ingots. Let's check our inventory on those things. Brass precision parts. I think that's what we saw those guys working on. Okay, we're okay there. Brass precision parts, steel ingots. I think we had like a thousand of those at one point. Yeah, 899. Still don't have the wrought iron that I think we should have. What was the other thing they needed? Steel parts. Do we even have those? Are we making those yet? Don't see them. Oh, yeah, we do. Metal lathe, too. That's probably better. Um, do we have that unlocked in the science tree? Uh, 
that. This guy. Metal lathe. We need one more luxury chest. Let's do it. Boom. <laughs> Monster threat went up by 75. No big deal. Okay, this guy's probably made... This is more efficient. I hope. Metal lathe. Crafting time, 720 seconds. Okay, needs brass precision parts. Steel parts. I have all that stuff. Order to colonists. Work here as a metal lathe operator. I gotta believe that's gonna be faster. Okay, we need not the engineer. Oh, he's making them. I'm gonna let this guy finish. I want to get the advanced job block crafter guy. This one. I'll delete that guy once he's done with that chest. Or lockbox. Um... I want to make sure we get a bunch of these metal lathes. We'll make it high priority. And let's get at least 50. And we can make that normal priority. We have 66 unemployed. Okay, this guy, when they're ready, I only have one of these guys, too. This guy's done. Oh, man, look at that. 28 steel lockboxes already. We're going to place those. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, sorry, buddy. I'm going to take away your station. Let's look at where our lockboxes actually are. I think they're down here. In one of these rooms, aren't they? Are bronze ones? One of these rooms is loaded. Here we go. Think we want to start getting rid of these. So our total point capacity right now is forty thousand one hundred. Um, let's read a little bit about these. What does it say? Okay, causes twenty five threat. Oh, oh. But it adds, it adds five times the number of colony point capacity, right? 2,500 versus 500 at only two and a half times the threat. So it's a way better bargain. So let's start swapping some of these out. Ooh. Let me get this to look interesting at all. That's better. So watch our colony point number up top there and our threat rating. It sh should go, the point capacity should go up and the threat rating should actually go down. So we're at 2618 threat rating. 2632. Oh, no, it is going to go up. But our colony point capacity is going up way faster than our threat rating is going up. Um, what's going on here, fellas? Can I not get rid of you? Got it. So this is increasing our threat rating quite a bit, doing this. Um, and why are we doing it? We're doing it because, in colony points, I want to kick out this banner safe zone three more levels, and I need um, a higher capacity of colony points to be able to do it. So that just put us over 50,000. We're going to need more. So let's do it. Let's keep replacing these. It's a little dangerous. It's a little dangerous. We're significantly amping up our threat rating here. But I kind of want to do that anyway. Here come the monsters. Throwing caution to the wind. Oh man. Oh man. Let's see. Let's get up to a hundred thousand point capacity and then we'll look to spend some colony points. Okay, we're at 102. Let's let's finish out this row. Things are going to get tough in a, in a hurry here, I think. All right, now that we have 100 and 
10,000 colony point capacity. Let's raise some colony points and spend them. So I got a bunch of earthenware. Let's sell all that. Go way up, way up, way up, way up, way up. This is going to allow us to get working on that perimeter wall that I've been talking about for about 30 episodes. Okay, let's just sell as much as we can. Okay. And let's spend some colony points. I want the banner safe zone kicked out. Boom. And I want to kick it out again. Let's raise some more points. We made this pottery for a reason, so we could do this. Can't hold down the button. I gotta just keep clicking, it looks like. Okay. 20 points. Kick out the safe zone. We can do it one more, and we'll max out the safe zone. I like it. I like it. Sell some more. Uh, we can sell other things, too, but let's get rid of this earthenware. We have tons of it. We'll see if the monsters make it into the mazes now. We increased the threat rating quite a bit. I'm not sure where we started at. Okay. Colony points. Banner safe zone. Boom. Okay, what else do we want to upgrade? My health. Not a big deal. Builder, none of this other stuff is really that critical. Um, we'll do some of it. Let's raise some more points. Earthenware, let's go, let's go. Still have a bunch of other higher ticket items that we could sell. Mainly the shields. I guess the little rings, the jewelry doesn't sell for much, does it? 23. Okay. Colony points. Let's do colonist capacity. We have a bunch of upgrades there. Boom, boom. And see what the max is. Look at that. 10,000 colonists we could have. Oh, man. I like it. I like it. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Sell some more. We may not need to deploy more of those lock boxes. That may be it. In fact, we could probably swap out the other ones. Because they're raising our threat rating more than we need. Um, whoops, back into colony points. Let's max out the colonist capacity. Looks like we got a few more levels here. Banner safe zone is maxed. Digger and builder size. I haven't had any problems of not being able to make those too big. And my health's not a huge issue. Uh, because I don't take much damage. Except when I fall. Um, the colonist capacity, we have what? Two more levels? Let's do it. Uh, we can switch over to selling some of this. Gold jewelry. Colony points. Boom. 25,000 colonist capacity. Oh my goodness. We've got a huge colony here, but man, is that even possible? Did we feed that many people? Uh, we'd have to dig a few more levels underground probably and get a lot more fishing going. Although we have tons of food right now. All right, let's keep going. We have what? One more level for colonist capacity. Let's do it. Uh, I got a cell here. Um, we're starting to run out of cash, but we're also running out of things to spend colony points on. So it's not a big deal. Curious what the max is going to be. I wonder if it'll be 50,000 colonists. Oh man. I don't want to max out our colony and see if we can hit that max number. I have no idea what it is. We'll find out in a second here. 
All right, here's the last upgrade for Kana's capacity. Oh, 50, it is 50,000. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to put down more beds. I thought I had a lot at 8,300. I'm gonna have to put 42,000 more beds down, apparently. Pretty cool. Um, I guess the last thing I could do is max out my health for now. That'll be the last thing, and then we'll move on to other things. Boom, let's sell all this. I think I just need to get up to 50,000. Okay, that's all sold. We still have all the gold shields. I haven't touched those yet. Max out my health. Boom. Okay, pretty good. We've got two more things we can max out, but those aren't urgent. I'm not going to bother with those. What I do want to do, though, is... Um, at, we're at 110,000 colony point capacity. We don't need to go beyond that. But we can get rid of... We can get rid of a lot of these other boxes. And swap them out with the good ones. So you go... Tell you what. Let's just start ripping some of these out. And then we'll add the steel ones back till we get to a hundred thousand colony point capacity. Right, so we're at 104. This should bring our threat rating down quite a bit. And we'll get the threat rating back up just by adding colonists. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is cool. Got to spend all those colony points. Oh man, I like it. I like it. And we could just um now that we've done all these upgrades, I imagine you can get rid of all these lockboxes just entirely, right? But we'll try and make it so that we've at least got the ability to have a hundred thousand colony points. Just for um just for the sake of having some lock boxes that are increasing our threat rating. That'll make it a little challenging, right? Okay, that's at 102. Are there more copper lock boxes? There are in the other room. Think. Think we have more laying around, or bronze lock boxes, I should say. This room looks cleared to me. I'm gonna put one more steel. Maybe three more steel. One, two, three. And let's go in the other rooms and just make sure all the bronze ones are gone. I had a feeling I was going to do that. Okay, this might be the room we just came from. Got a lot of unemployed at the moment. This room doesn't look to have any lock boxes. Right? Don't see. Don't see any here. Don't see any here either. We'll fix these dorms, so maybe we'll, lo we'll uh, fill in all this greenery so it looks a little bit more normal. Hopefully I'm not walking in circles. Okay, okay, yeah, this is where I think there might be a few more of these guys we can get rid of. Bam. I think that's it. I think that is it. Awesome. Awesome. I like it. I like it. I'm going to wrap this episode here. We dramatically changed our defenses. And with a little bit of change, boy, they were not even able to get into the maze. Um, let's go see where the new safe zone ends. 
Uh, yeah, there's our little sample wall, defensive wall we're going to do. The new safe zone. Um, is that it? Oh, that is it. Right here, I think. Right? Hard to tell, but yeah, it ends right here on this, kind of this platform. Goes out a bit. Not bad, right? Goes out a lot farther that way. So what I want to do, what I want to do, what I want to do. A few things. Uh, let's talk about it and then we'll end the episode. Um, I want to do the perimeter wall. Boom. And I want to work on this. Maybe next episode. Because we're doing fantastic now. I think a lot of the pressure is, is off. We'll keep adding guards. Uh, let's see. Do we have night muskets? We may need to ramp up production. We need to keep an eye on our ammunition, but I want to work on this castle and make it look better. Talked about it several times. Uh, let's get on it next episode. Again, we'll do something where we can build out. I don't know. We'll count some number of pillars, and then we'll say that's where we're going to have like a tower. That is kind of attached to the building, but just to give it a different profile. Some big thing. And maybe we'll put a little defensive wall up while we're working on it. But we'll do some experimenting. And then as we get more um, musket guards, we'll put some of these more musket guards up on the wall. Let's, uh, let's stick around for a little bit and see how our defenses hold up. We did it. I think we increased our threat rating at least a little bit. Let's see if anybody actually makes it into the maze. Pretty quiet in here. Let's, uh,. Let's go up a level and observe these guys taking shots. Yeah, they have shots. Look at them. They're all reloading. It's awesome. Did not think we'd be able to get shots off this high. I wonder if we can go the next level up. Probably can't get a guard staffed up fast enough to find out. Um, we could try. Talking about up here. Gosh darn it. That's what I wanted. Don't need to recruit. We have tons of unemployed right now. Maybe someone will come in time to shoot. It doesn't look like it though. suppose I could try it myself, right? Must get probably 50 of them. Can I just take one? And by the time I get my ammo... <laughs> oh, I did take that guy out from up here. And he's shooting too. This guy's shooting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very cool. I like it. I like it. We'll let that guy stay up there. Oh, man. Okay, let's take a look at the science tree. I know we're dawdling here. I want to see what is coming that's going to increase our threat rating. It could be some of this stuff does it. Yeah, increases the monster threat by a thousand. Prestige chest. So we will do some of this. Uh, we have more traps to try out. But yeah, I think next episode, like I said, we'll take a break from what we're doing. Production lines and all that kind of stuff. And let's work a little bit on the architecture of the main castle here. So it's not such a big square. It'll be a bit of experimenting. Not sure how to do it. I have some ideas, but yeah, let's talk about that next episode for now. This is Glattercat 
saying thanks as always for watching. Special thanks to GladderCat patrons and channel members whose support of this channel means everything and allows me to make this content. Really appreciate it. Could always use more support. Did lose a couple supporters last month. Um, so if you'd like to help contribute to the channel and help me keep this thing going, there's links to do so in the description. And thanks as always to those of you that have been giving the videos thumbs up. I really appreciate that as well. And I'll see you all in the next episode.